Hello, hello, Sharon here and welcome back to my channel. Now, one of the things that used to really drive me crazy when working in a Word document was trying to add an image and it just not going where I wanted it to go. So in this video, I'm going to show you a real quick solution to this just in case it drives you mad as well. So let's say you have a document here and it's full of text and you want to insert a picture over on the left hand side. So the first thing you do is put your cursor where you want the image to go, then go to the insert tab on the ribbon and select pictures and you just navigate to wherever your picture is saved. I'm actually using Microsoft 365 so I'm gonna just choose one of their stock images. Mmm, these look really tasty. I'm just gonna go with this one and insert. So this obviously inserts the image where I've placed the cursor. It's a bit too big so I want to shrink it down a little bit by clicking on the drag handle in this bottom right corner and dragging it up diagonally just to resize it quickly. So once we're happy with the size, let's try moving it to exactly where we want it to go. Now comes the frustrating part. I want this picture to be over here in this margin area and Word isn't letting me do that. So when you click on the image, there's a little layout options box here that appears on the right hand side. If you don't see that, then you can get to the same layout options by clicking into picture format on the ribbon up here and going over to the arrange section and clicking on wrap text the drop down arrow next to wrap text gives you the same roughly the same options as you can find in this layout options box here so when you click into this you'll see that the image is currently in line with text and that's the problem whenever you insert an image its layout default is in line with text and because it's in line with the text word won't let you move it outside of the margins it's treating it as it would do any other text to get rid of that what you need to do is go to where it says with text wrapping here and choose one of the other options so if we click on square you can see that it brings the text up square with the actual image itself and now when you click and move it you can see that the text moves with it so it's always square with the text and look, you can actually move it over as far left as the actual edge of the page. You can move it over to the right if you want to as well. You can place it anywhere within the document. So again, click on this little layout options box here and have a play around with the different layout options until you find one that suits what you want. So you have the option of tight. You can have it so the text, when you move it, the text goes through. Um, sorry, the image goes through the text. You can have it so that it's top and bottom. You can have it so that it goes over the top of the image and you can have it so that the text is behind the image. You also have the options, whichever one you choose here. So if we just go back to square, you can also decide whether you want the image to be in a fixed position on the page or if you want it to move when the text is added or removed by choosing one of these two options here, move with text or fixed position on the page. So it's just a matter of having a play around with the different layout options until you find one that you like. And if you want even more wrap text options, then click into the picture, go back up to picture format and wrap text. And there's an option, more layout options here. And you can choose whether you want the text wrapping to be both sides, left only, right only, or largest only. Real quick and easy solution to the insert image. Now obviously there's a bit more to it than that, but that's for a future video. And there's also a couple more things that I find really frustrating when working in Word. One of them is the hyperlink text changing color after you click into it. And the other is the gaps between the pages um, suddenly just disappearing in my page view. Now luckily I've learned how to fix both of these and I show you how in these two videos here. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.